everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you were watching this video, then you picked the cat plush for your Trash Panda subscription box. So what do we have in our bag? We should have a sock. Um, we've got some fluff. We've got some thread. Uh, we have a needle. You guys are going to have some gray felt. You're going to have some black felt. And I didn't include a pen, but you are going to need one. We're going to turn that sock inside out and you want to kind of flatten the heel and flatten the toe so you have kind of this oval shape and at the top of that oval is where we are going to make our cat ears. I'm going to make them kind of like this. We're going to put a line that creates a triangle on the outside, horizontal line in the middle, and another line that's going to create another ear on the other side. Those are going to be your cat ears. So we're going to go ahead and unwind some thread, um, probably no longer than the length of your arm. Go ahead and cut it, pass it through the eye of that needle, double knot the end. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew back and forth, back and forth in a straight line, just on the edge of the ear line that we drew on the toe of that sock. And I'll let you see kind of how I get started. And then you can pause this while you do it. And you're going to go all along that line. And then at the end, um, you're going to, you're going to knot it and tie it off. So that's what it'll look like when you've sewn all the way across kind of tiny stitches. And at the end, I'm just going to kind of make a big loop, pass my needle through it. And that's going to tie off the end. You can do that one or two times. Then you're going to take some scissors and you're going to cut inside that stitching line that you just made. So you're going to kind of cut off the toe of that sock. Okay. Now that we have that, we're going to take our pen again and on the bottom we're going to loosely draw in kind of a, a half moon or half circle rounded flap a little bit above the heel. Kind of the same shape as the heel but above the heel. And we're going to cut through both layers with that rounded edge. Um, and eventually this will be the bottom, the part of, of the plush cat that will be seated that'll stay flat okay i'm gonna set aside the heel piece for a moment we'll come back to that we're going to turn the main part of our sock right side out and you just use your finger to kind of poke out those ear triangles already starting to look like a cat and if you got one of the socks that has the writing on it, that writing can just go on the back. And this will be the front of our cat. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to take our fluff and use as much or as little of it as you want um, to make the insides of your cat. So however floofy you would like it to be. And make sure to get it all the way up into the top of those ears. And then we're going to thread our needle again and we're going to use a slightly different stitch or a slightly looser stitch on the bottom part of this cat. So I'm going to put it through the needle. I'm going to double knot the end. And here we go. So starting from the inside, I'm going to pull it through to the outside and then using kind of a large stitch. So we use really tiny stitches up by the ears. I'm going to use a larger stitch here to go in and out and in and out. And you can do the in and the out in the same movement um, and keep those stitches kind of big. So in and out. And you'll notice that when you pull the thread um, it starts to kind of 
pull the sock closed a little bit as well. And that's okay. That's exactly what we want it to do. In and out. And we're going to do this all the way around. And eventually it's going to work kind of like a drawstring. Um, so when we pull it, it's going to start to pucker up the whole bottom. And you can just use your fingers to kind of push in the excess, the outside, um, the edge that's cut. Pull your thread and just kind of poke all the excess into the middle. And then once you've got that all hidden inside, you kind of just close your fingers. Um, and what we're going to do here is called a whip stitch. So I'm coming from one side to the other side and I'm always coming in from the same side. So right here, I'm always coming from the back side to the front side, which is going to sew that shut. And then when I'm done, I can cut that off. So now we're going to make our tail. And we're going to kind of, some of you will have um, longer ankle sections, but we're basically just going to follow the cut that we drew earlier, that half circle shape. And we're just going to cut a long rectangle sort of right on the edge of it. And then I'm going to cut a straight line on the end. And this is kind of my tail shape. And we're going to use the same stitch we used on the ears. And I've got this part inside out, just like we did when we sewed the ears. And I'm going to use tiny stitches and go in and out, back and forth, back and forth, across the top and all the way down the edge of the tail. And it's going to look like that when it's finished. And you can use a pen or a pencil or a chopstick. And we're actually going to turn that tail inside out. So if you use that pencil down near the end that you sewed shut and you're just carefully going to ease it over the top of that pencil or pen or chopstick um, because we want to turn it right side out. It takes a little bit of patience um, with something that's kind of that skinny, but you guys can get it. And then once you see that end that you sewed kind of starting to peek out of the end, you can just turn it all the way inside, right side out. If you want to, you can use some of your fluff to stuff it. Um, if you have that kind of patience, if you don't, that's totally okay. It's still going to look like a cattail, even if it's not super fluffy but your pen or pencil or chopstick can also be used as a tool to help get fluff inside that tail if that's something that you decide you do want to do. Just like that. Either way, if you fluff, if you stuff it with fluff or if you don't, we are then going to sew it on to the bottom of that cat and then it will curl right around towards the front so you'll be able to see it when it's sitting upright. And because it's on the bottom, we don't really care if we can see the edges and we don't really care if we can see the stitches. So go ahead and load up your needle with thread again. Make sure to double knot that end. And then we're just gonna use that thread to go into the cat body and come out the very end of that tail all the way around so it's secure on there. And same thing when you're finished, uh, you can do a loop, pass your needle through, and then tie off the end and cut off any excess thread. Oh, I... <laughs> the next thing we're gonna do is cut out our long ovals of gray felt for back stripes and four stripes on the head. So three long stripes, three short stripes, two little circles for black eyes and you can glue those on uh, with your container that says cat glue. Um, that is just fabric glue um, and that will help that adhere and be nice and secure. So the three long uh, oval rectangles will go across the back of your cat and the three short ones will go in between the ears. 
just like that and the eyes and then when that is all dry you should be able to sit it upright and you will have a little tiny cat. Thank you guys for following along. I hope you enjoyed this month's sort of Japanese theme that we had going on. A couple quick things. We are about to start our summer reading extravaganza at the Rapid City Public Library. Um, so next time you're in or check online our website uh, and you can see what offerings we have for kids, for teens, and for adults. We are going to have weekly drawings for teens and adults. There's going to be a scavenger hunt, one for teens and one for kids. So maybe take a look and see if that's something that you're interested in. One final note for you guys, you may have seen the very small blue note that was in your box. Because we've gotten so many subscriptions, uh, I can't keep up with all of them. Um, so we're going to have to cap each monthly offering at 75. So if what we're offering for next month looks really good to you, get your subscription in sooner rather than later. Um, if you per chance end up on the waiting list, please go ahead and sign up because if we have boxes that aren't picked up or I happen to have extra supplies, I will definitely put boxes together for you guys. Also, it says that there's a new way to sign up, which is true on our website. If you go to events, you can follow that through to find trash, pa trash panda treasure boxes and sign up online, but you can also still sign up the way that you've been signing up all of these months regularly. So we're just trying to get more options out there to you guys. So thank you again. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.